Sucks. <laughs> You're caught up. Another safe point? This looks a lot like, uh, Toriel's house. Oh, okay. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. They're just full of open containers of snails. There's some light first stuck in the green. You took the key and put it in your phone's keychain. The top is very clean. Someone's used fire magic instead. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. The coals are still warm. Azrael, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Photo albums. Seems like gardening tools. It's a golden flower. There's a heart shaped locket inside the box. Should I take it? Yeah, go ahead and take these and equip them. This is basically your last equipment. Heart locket armor. It says best friends forever. A warm dagger. I'll take it. Perfect for cutting plants of mines. It's a drawing of a golden flower. A comfortable bed. If you lay down here, you might not ever give it up. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. Striped shirts. Uh. Go ahead and equip the dagger. Sure. Yeah. Oops. That was the last thing you had, of anyways. Oh yeah, you got the frying pan. <laughs> oh yeah. Because you never Under bought the gun. Saved you a lot of money on that too. Yeah. Over time, Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. It's another key. Asgore's journal. Number one hose nose nozzle champs? Nose nozzle champs. 98. Yeah, because remember Dogami and Degressa oh, yeah. came in second. Oh <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Their robes, button-up shirts, and a pink hand knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. <laughs> It's a bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. Is Asgore the Santa? <laughs> Macaroni art of a flower for King Dad. It's a king size bed for a king size guy. Despite everything, it's still you. Twenty fifteen, this game has mirrors that work in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to hold that joke back for you unlock the chain. weeks. <laughs> <laughs> There's no calendar from the end of 2016. The date is circled on it. Well, down I go, I guess. 
Then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request. To see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day. The human died. Azrael, racked with grief, absorbed the human's soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Azrael reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers, carried the human onto it. Suddenly screams ran out. The villagers saw Ezreal holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with a blow after blow. Ezreal had the power to destroy them all. But Ezreal did not fight back. Clutching the human, Ezreal smiled and walked away. Wounded, Ezreal stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. That's why he's a gardener. King had fell into despair. King and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgard will give us hope. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. It's down. Ah. Wait, then where's it? Can I use the elevator? Oh. All right, here's my other little exploit I'm going to do to you. Okay. Do I need healing items? Not yet. Because I don't have any. I'll let you know when you need to go get healing items. This may take some uh, editing magic when we get through this, too. Okay. Because you're going to have to do something. Um, but I mean, when I mean something, I mean a bunch of some things. Okay. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, we will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. 
The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right, we're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. You learned a lot from that. Exit the game and then reload. You gotta hold Should escape. I save first. No. Okay. Because you saved before. Oh, hold escape. Yes. All right. All right. Redo the. Uh, what are we thing. doing now? Just I'm trust just, me on cut, this. Am I cutting this part out? Yes. Okay. This is a flavored text. I tried to get Tanuki to do this, but. He flaked on it, because he's Tanooki. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, go talk to him again. Yeah. See, this is why I said not to save. Ah! So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you'll meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You'll be judged for every action. You'll be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. I love how they change the meta of RPGs. And yeah. It's like, yeah, the reason why... You know, it makes it easier to kill is because you get stronger, and you get stronger by murdering people. Yeah. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. I oh, you don't have to read that. <laughs> Alright, fine. We'll just wait until new text comes up. <laughs> you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Yeah, this is the only way to get this thing, too. There's no other way of doing this unless you play the game enough times. <laughs> now, about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. You're because the game data, it measures how many times you meet characters. Uh -huh. And that's why you're able to keep doing this over and over again. The <laughs> metadata <laughs> saves it. You will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped in the ground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would throw in a towel by now. You didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright, we're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Wait a second. That look in your face while I was talking. You've already heard my spiel, haven't you? Let's <laughs> see. I suspected something like this. You're always acting like you know what's going to happen. Like you've seen it all before. So, I have a request for you. I kind of had a secret code word that only I know. So I know if someone tells it to me, they'll have to be a time traveler. <laughs> Crazy, right? Anyway, here it is. I'm counting on you to come back here and tell me that. See you later. Okay, close the game. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I love this. Also, you could just hit F4. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs>